The approaching holiday season means hours spent decorating, shopping, cleaning for family visits. And if you're not stressed already, by my, my reminder, uh, that probably didn't help, right? Uh, to keep you limber and feeling like you can handle it all, we're learning a few yoga moves to help us get us through these days. And please welcome yoga instructor and nutritionist Carla Ilicic. I did it? All right, I mastered your last name. <laughs> you that was the first it. thing. And so you've got a couple moves right now to show us just basically how to stay flexible right now. Yes. Uh, with the cold uh, front approaching, we all wake up very stiff. So what I always like to do is um, start in a child's pose and have her knees nice and wide and just try to stretch out the spine, try to feel uh, your upper body sinking in between your hips. This is and one of my favorite to, poses, by the way. I know. It's hard to get up it. out of just because I'm like, oh, I'm so comfortable. <gasps> I know. It's so comfortable. I usually like read stuff in this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good for the hips. It's opening them up, loosening them up, them up without actually using any pressure. And then from here, I'd like to do a little twist to start it um, just by threading the right arm under and just trying to stretch out and um, feel your shoulders getting stretched out and pulled by the weight of your own body. Okay. And then, of course, we need to do it on the other side as well just to level it out. And this and is something you could start your day with every yes, morning. Yes, it's amazing to do it in the morning Okay. because we all feel very stiff, especially if we're in front of a computer all day long. Mm -hmm. Then you wake up and you're like, oh, I can't move. So I love doing this in the morning. And then uh, from here, I would have her tuck her toes under and come to a downward facing dog and kind of just walk it out. Okay. You feel her legs getting extended, uh, the blood flowing through her whole body and just pushing herself away from the floor to stretch out her whole spine, lifting her hips high um, and just feeling uh, like the movement in her feet as well as in her arms as well. Okay, to kind of ground herself in both her feet and her hands. Then. Yes, so both areas are actually getting the pressure and you're, mm -hmm. you're trying to pull yourself away from the floor but also push yourself away from the floor. Mm -hmm. You're doing both things, both actions by moving your shoulders away from your ears and kind of feeling your shoulder blades going all the way down your spine. Because that's what happens when you sit at an office all day. They kind of you're sneak up on you. Constantly. Yep. And you don't even feel it. You don't mm -hmm. even know that you're doing it unconsciously. Um, and then I would have her just walk her hands all the way back down to her feet and then just grab her elbows and relax in a comfortable forward fold and then you can just wiggle your arms around or your whole body around whatever you want to kind of loosen all up and just feel gravity pulling you down because I think that's something that we really don't do mm -hmm. we don't feel the passive stretching we okay. actively try to stretch but we're using so much tension and force without allowing our bodies to just passively stretch okay so just let go for a minute yeah so let gravity let do the work yes I exactly. like that and you can bend your knees if you need to, or you can keep them straight, whatever your level of flexibility is. Right, because that's what's great about yoga. Anyone can do it. Everyone. Yeah. Literally everyone. And people don't understand how yoga is different for every person. Okay. And then slowly just um, roll all the way back up. And then come to the front of the mat. So usually I would start with a couple of sound salutations. Here we'll do just one. Uh, because I want to uh, show what this flow about. And the whole point of sun salutations is to warm up the body and to prepare it for the rest of the practice. In this sense, to prepare it for the day. Okay. So and just to feel that flow. I love that, Carla. Come over here and you can teach me some things that we can do too while we're sitting and we're, we're um, at the office, correct? Like of there's course. something that you, yeah. you come on over here and we'll talk about uh, how yoga can be used in everyday life when oh. you're not on your mat because it, it's yes. something that can be, be happening no matter where you are. Yes. Am I right? And I actually wrote a blog post about it. Okay. For um, people in offices, especially women, and uh -huh. I even had like heels on just right. to kind of I got show them on it. right now. Perfect. Yeah. So what I like to do if I'm sitting in front of my computer a long time mm -hmm. or I'm in a plane, which okay. I am a lot, uh, I like to open up my chest. Okay. So I like to place my hands back, interlace my fingers, and just open up the chest. And it feels so good. Oh yeah, that's nice. Sometimes something even cracks. Oh yeah. I'm just kind of stuck okay. here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. And breathing is important through oh, all this. Breathing is the most important. Part. And and how how does breathing help us like de-stress through? I mean, this season is probably the most stressful for people. Yeah, with all the holidays approaching. Yeah, yeah Thanksgiving and then Christmas and all of that. Yeah. Um, so what we usually don't even realize is that we breathe very shallowly. Mm -hmm. We just breathe from our upper part of our body. Because we, we breathe, breathe without, without thinking. 
Yeah. Like, thankfully, it just thankfully, works it's on its own. Automatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's automatic. Sometimes we even hold our breath without even thinking about yes. it, and then we get all red. Yeah. Uh, but if we just take a moment to place our hand on our belly. Okay. And just breathe. And then feel if your hand is even moving. No, it's not when I'm not thinking about it. 90% of the yeah. time it's not. And then just try to bring out as much breath as you can into your belly by expanding it. And then bring it back in when you're breathing out. Okay, I hope everyone's doing this with us at home, okay? So that we're <laughs> not the only ones sitting with our hands on our belly. So expanding we'll breathe in it. and out, right? Yes. And, and how many times do you think people should do that to, to really feel better? Well, honestly, whenever they feel that they just can't do yeah. anything and they're like, I have to do this email and this yes. and this and this, and they're like, <laughs> they uh -huh. can't breathe. They just need to take a second and just close their eyes and just try to feel their breath and just focus on their breath because nothing is going to happen if you're focusing on your breath, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're still thinking about that email. Yeah. So really try to take 10 seconds. That's enough. Okay. Just to bring your cortisol levels. Okay. Ten seconds is all it takes, you guys. We can do that. We can to keep us de-stressed through the holiday season. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you for having me. And when we come back, how one local scientist contributed to the UN's alarming report on climate change.